seem. <laughs> I think it's better this way. Huh. Hi, welcome back to Two Cells One Pack. We're about to embark on our first race event, our first electric unicycle event, Northwest Electric Fest down in uh, Crestville, Oregon at the Lynx Hollow Park. We'll see how it goes, I guess. Hopefully I don't crash too badly. <laughs> yeah. I'm excited though, so let's go. It is now perfectly 12 noon. We got to Tumwater, uh, we're here for a charge, and then we're gonna grab some food at the McDonald's and then hit the road. Why are you holding my hands? You gotta be even on the top here. See, like my finger and your finger. It's even like One, two, three. I declare a thumb. One, bow. Go. You have to come closer. <laughs> <laughs> you move your finger. Okay, so it's cold. We end up with a chevron. Okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, Ooh, they're so cute, they're little like... I got two of them. Hold on. One. So cute. Two. So cute though. That is so cute. Okay. Oh, that's it. Plastic straw. We don't have plastic straw. There's a bun and meat. I thought there is a pickle. We have pickle. We have. Maybe it's on the other side. Open that side. Yeah, a pickle. You get one pickle. <laughs> 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 <There's> no... <laughs> I get one singular pickle. <laughs> Canadian cheeseburger or hamburger. It's better. <laughs> So we just arrived at the uh, Airbnb here in Eugene, Oregon. We're gonna drop off our things. I'll give you a quick house tour. And then we'll be headed over to Lynx Hollow Park for Northwest Electric Fest. A nice little quaint Airbnb. Yeah. 
and it's Northwest Electric Fest. We're about to go check out this map and see where the track, what it looks like, what kind of obstacles it has. Casually, very casually. All right, I think, turn right. Commander Minis? Commander Minis. Matching? You got a match. Oh, almost all the way down the path. <laughs> Is this the track? Is, it here? Oh, is, he, is that the sign there? Or is this the way here? I don't know. I believe we should go right. I believe so, yes. So based on this map, it looks like we'll be approaching home run. That's the lake. Oh, here's a single track right here. Luckily I brought my pants because right now my legs are getting scraped up by these bushes. Well, there's a bit of a tree log right here. And then we come out here. Is this the right way? I don't know. Maybe not the right way. Is this not the right way? I don't think so. So this is the start. Is that the right way or is that the white way? <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Do you know where he is? I think this is right. So now this is number one, Mount PMW. But I think we're turning into number two, which is MVK, MVK's Gambit. So this is the start of the single track area. A couple bumps here and there. It's gonna be an interesting race. <laughs> Bit of a dip. Got some loose Eagle Mountain style rocks. Some more pots and bumps. How are you doing back there, Christine? Yeah? We can do one route and then we'll go stop at the EX30 and give it another try. So it looks like we're rounding out to number three, which is Stringer's Creek. Hello. Oh, it's a U turn. This road is quite bumpy. It's also a lot of bright and dark, so I probably won't wear my sunglasses. Oh, wait, but do we go up? And we might have gone. Oh, there's a feature here. So we gotta go this way. So you will have. Oh, there's. Mandatory features. So I guess you can choose whether you want to drop or you want to bridge a gap. 
Speed, 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 speed. There you go. What's next? So that was number five, which was JKP's Big Send. Now we're going to six, which is Lewis's Revenge. Very flowy section, pretty smooth. A little bit of hills up and down, but oh, some moguls here. Tree roots. Number six is quite long. Uh, we're gonna run this for a while until we hit number seven. Kind of hard to see with the bright and the dark. Yeah. It's a bit of a challenge. Seems quite narrow too, so not much room for error. If you hit some of these bumps with too much speed, you can end up. Uh, we're back here, so I guess you go straight. Yeah, yeah, this goes side by side, so we keep going straight. And then I think it curves right here where that camera went. There you go. So curves here. Oh wait, is it the same? I think so, yeah. I guess maybe there's one side on that side and one on this side maybe? Oh, camp over torque. I think this is right, I think those are campgrounds, so we keep going. And then we'll turn right somewhere at number seven. Once we hit the big field. Getting a little bit dusty now. I'm turn right. I think we turn right here. A little bit of roots, a little bit of hops. This should be number seven, which is Tommy's Rock Run. And we're going around this swamp. And number eight is Jesse's Puddle. We see a puddle here. I don't see a puddle. Maybe they're going to fill it with water. And when we come back around, we're going to hit number nine, which is Turkey D Zone. And I guess we come out here to... Should be the right way. A bit rocky. To number nine is Turkey D zone, and then to number ten, which is slow, slow chin. And we see the porta potties, and then we're in the right spot. Oh, there's the porta potties. So now we go to ten, which is the gate, which is slow chin. Quite rocky, quite slow, and then back around. To number 11, home run. So this is home run right here. <laughs> Good turning around going oh, that way? There you are. Hello, Hello how's it going? Just about, yeah. How are you? Alright, let me put my efforts on. Are you going that way or this way? Yeah, we're going that way. That way? Okay. Yeah, here. So you got gear on? Are you guys going fast or are you going no, we're slow? Just
Good morning. Morning, morning. We're here at uh, Off the Waffle in uh, is Eugene, Oregon. In Eugene, Oregon. Day two here. Day two. How was uh, day one? Tiring. Tiring? <laughs> Yeah, we uh, filmed a couple laps and then we just started doing some practice runs. Kept going um, and going and going and going and going. <laughs> met a bunch of cool people, hung out for a little bit, got dark fairly quickly. Yeah. So we headed home for a rest and we're headed back there this morning. There were no airbags set up yesterday, which we were kind of looking yeah. forward to. But hopefully they're set up today. Us. Let's go get some breakfast. Mm -hmm. The goat in the headlights. I'll take your first bite. I'm gonna try yours first. Though. I'll try mine first. Go for it. What am I gonna do with the egg? I have maple syrup, apple, and cinnamon. Mm. Oh, is that what cattle made? I saw that when you leaned into that. Yeah, when I leaned into the braking. I wonder if it's just your weight, because I haven't had that happen to me. I'm just heavy as hell. How much you weigh? 240. Oh, that's that's why you're pushing that motor hard. Wow, you're 240? Yeah. Whoa. Whoa, dude, I saw the motor. I saw it. Hide it. Well, Whoa. actually, it doesn't cut out though. It's it just tire spin. It just tipped back and then it held that spot. But he's heavy. Yeah, yeah. yeah. that two, a 250 pound rider? Yeah. First impressions? Very suspension? Good. Amazing. Yeah. I love that suspension. Damn, look at that smile. <laughs> power? I uh, I haven't pushed it enough yet for power. I mean you did get some good air off that ramp. Oh the, he found his wheel. <laughs> there you go. His wheel came calling to him. <laughs> Chance the I, man. I, go out. I wanted to go run some laps. Oh yeah, yeah, go ahead, go ahead.
All right, that sounds great. Let's go! Sheridan and Steven on the court. And Christopher. Of adrenaline running through my body. <laughs> so a couple times where I almost wiped, and a couple times where the jump took me off guard and it shot the wheel into my ass and flung me in the air. <laughs> but I survived. That is bad. Your wheel bottom EX30 bottomed out a couple times. I think I should put a little bit more pressure in it, maybe. Yes. But overall, it's really good. Good job. <laughs> here this has been like bigger than we ever imagined we yeah went way over what we thought we'd get in signups and this has been an amazing weekend and like let's give ourselves a hand for being here guys Woo! all right now we're moving on to the fastest euc men these are the pros in third place we have matt bard And then in second place, we have the Zach Attack Darnell! And then in first 
place. This crazy dude on an EUC who just can't be caught lately, Douglas Marshall. Get up here, brother. These are the fastest guys on this track. Let's get them wet. So we just uh, stopped here for some uh, lunch at Pepino's, a beautiful Mexican place that we were introduced by the Rev Rides crew and Jennifer Crusher. Oh, when you saw the grass? He fell and I like went to shoulder check to make sure he was okay and yeah. then I ate it. During the race? During the race. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Sympathy crash. Like, bundled up in there, like, I got back over you know, the wheel. Home sweet home. We're finally back in Vancouver after a very long and eventful weekend. Nine hours drive. Yeah, nine hours drive, roughly, maybe 10 hours. After our pit stop at Pepino's, what was one thing that's most memorable for you uh, about Northwest Electric Fest, Christine? The most memorable? I lost one whole day of memory though. <laughs> but all I remember is I like the extreme. I don't even <laughs> remember how riding it feels like, but I just remember I like it. Just like you love something, but you remember you love the something. <laughs> I don't know. It's weird, but I just remember I like the extreme. Fair. Yeah. And what I like about it is I like how the race, no, not just the race, the track, there's a lot of features on top, so there's a lot of things we have haven't tried before yeah. so it's a lot of first time there so that was fine yeah i think the features um give you it pushes you to go out of your comfort zone um but not only the features also like the other stuff that they set like the airbags that they set up uh they have like the trick area so you can kind of in a safe and supporting environment push your boundaries and learn from other riders who may or may not be better or who are better than you mm -hmm. or more skilled than you in certain aspects it's it was a very good event in that regards yeah i remember i wasn't racing but there is a point that i just stand in front of that uh, that ramp the, the ramp that is right before the finish line i just stand there and observe how people jump and clear it so it's just a very good opportunity to like just even see how each other right yeah. so although this uh highlight reel isn't won't be as complete as we would we initially envisioned uh yeah. hopefully the main purpose is to kind of give you a taste as to how these events kind of operate and hopefully you can kind of pull the trigger or add it into your schedule because uh, it will elevate your riding experience. So with that being said, I want to go home and rest. And, and sleep. Sleep. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so hopefully you enjoy the video. Like and subscribe. And do the notification bell. Ding dong, ding dong, ding, ding dong. dong. <laughs> See you next time. Bye.